Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past, and more. I got this on various sources. Please check the description to know more about the sources. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof of the small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Mystery over the Pacific Ocean These lights you see in the photos became visible from a flight over the North Pacific Ocean at a height of 39,000 feet. These are no red sprites, since the strange phenomenon lasted forever. According to the pilot, he has never seen anything like it. But judging from our luck in 2022 thus far, it could be a kaiju coming from a crack in the mid-ocean plates. Or freaking Godzilla, for that matter. I'm joking of course. What do you think? Anyway, here is a drawing of the cordless street lamp from the early 1900s. This is just one type of method of using the etheric electricity in street lighting, with several other possibilities known and used as well. However, according to today's mainstream story, these were actually gas lamps. In the evening they were ignited by hand and extinguished in the morning. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Sculptural compositions were cast from cast iron, created using a special technology, the secret of which has been lost, says Alexander Kubovsky, head of the Department of Cultural Heritage of Moscow. The secret of the cast iron, made in the 19th century, could not be revealed even today, given all the high technology of today. It has never been possible to determine the exact composition of the alloy. Do they want to convince us that, having a sample of the metal, experts could not determine its chemical composition. This kind of analysis is done in an ordinary laboratory in a metallurgical shop. The whole procedure takes no more than 20 minutes. Any sample, any metal. But the secret of the alloying technology itself can be really hard to unravel. Have you ever looked closely at the mountains of the Abkhazian coast? I am not hinting at anything, but the spoils do not have clear facets, and nature does not build identical pyramids by the force of wind and water. Under similar hills were the pyramids of Mesoamerica, so now look many pyramids of China. Have the officials never had the desire to dig suspiciously flat edges of these natural formations? Let's talk about celebrities. Brad Pitt was recently featured in a GQ photo shoot, and, wow, everything is there. And then some. It is proof that even long-established extremely wealthy and universally adored celebrities must go also through the dating industry slave treatment to remain in good standings with the occult elite. It's a sad sight to see. On the cover of GQ, Pitt lies in some water with a creepy blank stare. He looks like That picture immediately upset a whole lot of people. This is an example of the many headlines about that creepy picture. In some ways, that picture of a dead Brad Pitt is appropriate. 
because the entire photo shoot is about subjecting him to a cult elite madness as he looks dead inside. This picture is all about Brad Pitt submitting to the occult elite. First, the fire creates a blatant one-eye sign. Second, there's heavy makeup on his eye. Of course you know what I mean. This pic is all about emphasizing one of his eyes. The message is, he's doing as he's told to keep his career going. He had another one eye sign in this photo shoot. I left out other pics because I think we've all had enough of sad Brad Pitt in what might be the lowest point of his career. Speaking of the one eye sign, it was, as usual, all over the place last month. Here are a few examples. Since acquiring Star Wars, Disney has been bleeding this franchise dry. The promotional posters of this new Star Wars thing are all about the one eye sign. That's Disney telling you that they're completely sold to the elite's agenda. Speaking of streaming services catering to the elite's agenda, another month, another Netflix series that's promoted using blatant one eye signs. The upcoming series, The Sandman, will most likely be highly symbolic. I mean, one of the main characters is Lucifer himself. The Netflix series Squid Game was a celebration of the occult elite and its sick mincet. Netflix recently promoted the second season of the series with, of course, one eye. In case you haven't heard, Beyoncé is back. This means that mass media will, once again, do everything in its power to portray her as some kind of goddess we must all worship. On the cover of British Vogue, Beyoncé sits on a horse. And everything is red. The imagery of this cover reminds me of two elements found in the Book of Revelation. First, the overwhelming red recalls the red horseman of the apocalypse who is set to bring war. Second, the general layout of this picture is highly reminiscent of classic depictions of the H Babylon. This is an 11th century depiction of the H Babylon by Stephanus Garcia. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.